On behalf of the team, I welcome you to our project presentation, Fiber Chain Making Identities Visible. The starting point of our research idea is that in a globalized market, consumers often buy products that have been produced in other parts of the world. The negative environmental impacts of the textile industry are huge, making it one of the most polluting industries in the world. On the other hand, organic products and sustainable brands are becoming more popular and consumers are increasingly interested in sustainable production. However, consumers feel that they do not have a real choice since most of the garments are produced in developing countries and they do not have any information about production conditions. For the textile industry, several voluntary eco-labeling schemes exist. Their aim is to support consumers in making sustainable purchasing decisions. However, no labeling scheme for production of animal fiber set, such as alpaca and yak fiber exists. Therefore, companies such as our partner Grüne Erde are not able to provide their consumers certified or transparent products. Alpacas and yaks are raised in fragile ecosystems under harsh conditions and have to survive long winters, extreme temperatures and long periods without rain. Farmers in Peru and Mongolia are confronted with many challenges such as poverty, climate change, land degradation and non-transparent market channels. These rural families depend on livestock for their livelihoods. In the Peruvian Andes, an estimated number of 350,000 families rear about 3 million alpacas and several thousand Mongolian farmers keep about 700,000 yaks. The blockchain is a new technology which provides new ways of connecting individuals and businesses on a global scale. Trust and transparency is created by mathematical approaches. Therefore, Blockchain is considered to be a potential game changer for sustainability. In a simplistic way, a new database where new entries do not override pre-existing entries but instead are permanently placed behind its previous ones. Even a correction or an update to an old entry goes into a new block at the end of the chain, erasing nothing forming a blockchain. As a result, all participants of a certain blockchain can see the same information, guaranteeing full transparency. In a conventional supply chain, transactions are not fully transparent to everybody and consumers have to rely on information provided to them. In our project, we inv investigate the application of the blockchain technology for animal fiber. This offers the opportunity to link, for the first time, farmers in Peru and Mongolia with consumers in Austria, Switzerland and Germany. By doing so, we expect to better understand both sides. Accordingly, the research questions are addressing both ends of the product life cycle. On the farmer's side, we are interested in the criteria for a sustainability assessment of animal fiber production, which takes the three pillars of sustainability into account, and to which extent can the blockchain empower farmers and increase their economic identity. On the consumer side, we ask which level of information supports consumers' purchasing decisions and how is the proximity to the producer affecting the consumer attitude behavior gap. To conclude, the focus of our research is on the social impact of technology. In order to answer the research questions, we set up and test a pilot blockchain for animal fiber. In the first phase, we develop a criteria catalog for a sustainability assessment using a participatory research approach. In the second phase, we evaluate the impact of the new blockchain technology on producer and consumer using interviews and surveys. Ultimately, our project contributes to sustainability efforts of companies, scientists, blockchain community, farmers and consumers. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to 
the opportunity to present our research idea.